group say other unwanted animals are being dumped in car parks or bushland, impacting native wildlife. One woman has made it her business to rescue and rehome unwanted cats, as Small Business Secrets explains. Oh, wow. Hey. It's playtime in the lounge of a rescue cafe. Get down, get down. And three year old Pia thinks it's the cat's meow. It's great for kids to, to learn how to be gentle with the animals. This three month old female called Cotton is heading to a new home soon. That's the happier thing for me to see. It makes running the cafe worthwhile for Yuki, who migrated to Australia 10 years ago after growing up in Japan's capital, Tokyo. People in Japan, they love cats. And also there are so many stray cats in Japan. Rescue cat cafes are very common in Japan as well. Setting up the business has cost Yuki more than $50,000 so far. The rent is the first thing. It costs 3.5K for me every month, as well as the food, vitamins, and all the electricity. After 15 years in hospitality, the decision to become the mother of stray cats followed a family tragedy. My sister passed away for cervical cancer. That was my turning point, and I decided to follow my passion. In six months, Yuki has rehomed 34 abandoned cats, and her team of rescuers say demand for forever homes is steadily rising. It's the rental crisis. I've had people crying as they hand me their cat because they've had to move into a rental where cats aren't allowed. Tragically, not all unwanted pets find their way to shelters either. People would dump their kittens or cats in shopping centre car parks, in the bush. A cat will be lucky to survive six, six to eight months in the wild and it's a terrible death. It's a shocking death. Australia has one of the highest rates of pet ownership in the world, with more than 5.3 million pet cats nationwide, yet the RSPCA euthanized 6,500 cats last year. When you adopt an animal, it's really, it's really beautiful because you're giving them a second chance. Feral cats are blamed for the extinction of more than 20 native mammal species. So responsible ownership means getting a cat vaccinated and microchipped and desexed. We strongly recommend to keep your cats indoor to protect from any kind of dangers and to keep the wild animals nice and safe. Yuki's new life may be herding cats, but she wouldn't have it any other way. My lifestyle is full of this cafe right now. Seven days I'm here spending lots of time with our cats. But that's what I was expected and this is what I'm doing and I love it. Francesca Denuccio, SBS World News. That story was produced in collaboration with SBS News in Mandarin and Australia Explained, a portal covering uh, crucial information to migrants. For more stories about Australian entrepreneurs, visit the Small Business Secrets website or SBS On Demand. Well, another big moment for the Matildas tonight playing.